I went to Dallas, Texas for the 50th anniversary of the Kennedy assassination to see who I would meet there, assuming I was going to meet all sorts of conspiracy theorists and truth seekers and whatnot. So it was a pretty interesting place to shoot, and I shot right at the spot where he was shot. Uh, it was an uh, overcast day, not like this, but uh, clouds in the sky, and it was rainy. And then uh, by the time the president came by us uh, uptown, uh, it was uh, clearing off and it became a very, very good day. It was uh, uh, fairly warm, but we were not in jackets like this, that's for sure. And you came to see the president? Yes, my mother and I did. And can you describe what, how you felt again? What, what happened to you? Oh, we were devastated. Uh, my mother and I had just seen them uh, go by, and when uh, uh, we heard the news, I had gone in across the street to a department store to get a couple of shirts, and when we came back out, in those days, everybody had transistor radios, and I thought they were listening to their speech, but it wasn't that. They were listening to the fact that the president had been shot. It must have been quite an emotional roller coaster. Oh, extremely. Yeah, it was a very, very sad time for many days afterwards. The, the whole Dallas area and Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, we were talked about so many times as being whatever, but uh, we were very, uh, very, very drained from it. To this very day, we still don't know who murdered the president. And for anyone to believe that this was not a conspiracy due to the fact that we have a president that was trying to get rid of the Federal Reserve, we also have a president that was trying to reverse the policy of being in Vietnam, wanted to withdraw, and we have a lot of people who were making a lot of money off of the whole military industrial complex. We have a lot of that that was going on, and this man gets shot in this obvious place where everything was changed in order to get him to come down that curve down here. For anyone to believe that it was not a conspiracy is someone that does not understand how power and transfer of power works. I didn't necessarily do anything in Tartan. No, thank you, sir. But I saw the arrest of Oswald. And he turned and pointed a gun in my direction, but Officer McDonald grabbed the gun before he could fire the shot in the theater over there. And there were five or six officers grabbed him and handcuffed him. Thomas Jefferson said that given a choice between a government without a newspaper or a newspaper without a government, he would always choose the latter because he knew that information flow was more important to the process of democracy than the machinery with which it was carried out. You know, the, the grief and the, you know, the sadness was, was, I've seen UK, in, in England and in Ireland, especially from where my, where my parents are from. It's a, you know, it's a massive event. It, it stayed throughout the years, it really has. Well, I stood on the curb right down there opposite that tree. When, Ken, when the first shot was fired. So you saw the assassination with your own eyes? I saw the first shot hit Kennedy, yes. And I saw his arms come up just like this, immediately after the first shot. Do you think it was one gunman? Absolutely. No doubt in my mind. I've staked my life on it. Do you mind turning this way, Ernest? Uh, no. For this Somebody video? else wants it. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Thank now, you what? so much for your time. Wait, 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 the order of the shots. The first shot. Okay, when I'm standing on the curb there, the first shot, Kennedy was just two seconds past me, and bang, and his arms came up just like this, okay? And I saw it from his, from his right rear. If you look at the Zapruder film, what do you see when it comes out from behind the side? And both hands coming up like that. That's what I saw. And then you don't recover, when did you hear the second shot? Well, the first shot I thought was a motorcycle backfire, see? So then, in about three seconds or so, the second shot was fired. Then I realized somebody was shooting. And I thought, well, I thought possibly they were shooting from the other side of the plaza. If so, I was right in the line of fire. So I thought, my God, I can get hit, I can get killed here. So I got scared and I ran for that tree. And while I was running for the tree, the third shot was fired.
<laughs> Which crime would you prefer? <laughs> All the helicopters landed, and Nixon came along and shook hands with people went and posed for CBS and NBC and all these different TV people in front of this millhouse grave. Back onto his helicopter, off he went. Two months later, I passed by that cemetery. You wouldn't even know there was a cemetery there anymore. It was all overgrown. So let me ask you, so you shook hands with Nixon. Yep. And it's affected you to such an extent that giving your chance, that's what you wrote. You yes. Wrote message to the world. That is really thought provoking. <laughs> um, spot, I'm filming, I mean, right I over know. your shoulder is the actual oh, spot God. where an American president hey, died for know. his, uh, his want to film and his Right, and his country. And, oh. Uh, I just got chills now. <laughs> Not because it's cold. Wow. Early in my 20s, it was one of those things I never felt like I really went out there and did enough. And now it's one of those things I take every opportunity. And a lot of my friends and family say I need to take it slow and calm down and take care of myself. But I kind of like my crazy life and schedule that I do sometimes and taking advantage of every opportunity that's out there and offered to me. And meeting the different people that come through your life and giving you those thought-provoking moments. and just keeping an open mind and enjoying it and appreciating everything that you have. So, and wanting to achieve more. We were lied to and the Warren Commission got it wrong. And there's been a cover up for the last 50 years and I think we deserve the truth. And it was uh, Bertrand Russell who spoke of, he said through diet, injections and injunctions, the authorities will come to control the masses. That was in a book he wrote in 1953 I believe science and technology is the name of it. And you think there are people that know a different history than we're taught? I think so. Someone knows the truth. I'm going to write conspiracy. Okay, that's fine. I'll ask you why you wrote that. As blacks today, we need to realize that civil rights did not benefit us. It actually hurt us because trying to be a part of a society that will never accept you was one thing that broke up your culture that you had built together already. You had the Negro Leagues, you had everything, you had Black Wall Street, you had places where blacks were prospering. Brought in civil rights, black places, black businesses all went under. I don't think that's a positive thing. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, brother. Um, I support the, uh, the uh, the good of the people and the uh, and uh, the improvement of a government that may uh, may fail. Coup d'état is a takeover. It's a uh, a co a commandeering of control, and uh, I believe that basically we have not had a real president that's actually running things since. Um, since Kennedy, and um, they've, they're basically puppets of certain elites. What you've been kind of studying up on this, was this a coup? I mean, did we lose our democracy in this uh, event? You can't decide, there's so much information, whether it's true or false or whatever, you can't decide. Everyone says you have a vote, but there's, there's a limited thing you can vote for. I believe that uh, uh, somebody who's asked whether well, the Queen to form a government should form a government of the, the best people available at the time, not, not necessarily the best people in their party. In the UK, what... we have a greater say in democracy than any other country, other than maybe Australia, where it's illegal to not vote. Uh, and for everyone to get a say, it means that people need to get out there and vote.